hello everyone and welcome back to my channel again hope you are all doing well so dear friends we are discussing the model question papers for the mathematics subject third semester with you students right uh, so subject code is bmat cs301 or bcs301 okay so today i will solve the another varieties of questions on the five percent level of significance see here one type of aircraft is found to develop engine trouble in five flights out of a total hundred okay so five flights are supposed to develop the engine trouble okay out of 100 and another type in seven flights out of seven flights out of total 200 flights is there a significant difference in the two types of aircrafts so far as engine defects are concerned test at five percent significance level okay so so as so far we have uh, solved the varieties of questions on this particular topic also okay but little bit this is different one see here here are two samples over here five flights out of uh, total 100 right so i can write here in the solution n1 is equal to 100 okay and another one sample is seven flights out of 200 flights so n2 is equal to 200 right then what are the observed uh, values over here that is five flights out of total and uh, seven flights out of 200 so i can write here x1 is equal to 5 and x2 is equal to 7 <clears throat> if you have not watched uh, the problems on the uh, this 5 percent level of sig significance you can watch them first so that you will get clarity okay i have provided the link in the description box so what is the x value what is np value over here okay so in this case we are getting 2 n n uh, over here that is n1 and n2 okay in this case you are supposed to calculate first the probabilities first of all we will take the probability of first case that is p1 is equal to 5 flights out of total so I can take 5 upon 100 for the uh, probability for this case and another one is p2 is equal to 7 flights out of 100 right now you have to sum up these probabilities we will get p value p is equal to two observed values about uh, divided by total number of uh, values over here okay what is the x1 value <coughs> 5 plus x2 value is 7 upon n1 plus n2 that is 100 plus 200 so let me calculate it over here <clears throat> that is your 5 plus 7 upon 100 plus 200 that is 300 which is equal to 1 by 25 that is 0 0.04 0 0.04 so now i can calculate the q value as in the probability we are supposed to calculate the p and q value as you already know sum of probabilities is always equal to 1 okay probability of success plus probability of not success is always equal to 1 so here p is 0 0.04 q value is 1 minus p so q is equal to 1 minus p i can write q is equal to 1 minus 0 0.04 so you will get q value as 0 0.06 right so this is your q value so the formula which you have to use now is for z value okay so that you can check at z uh, sorry at 5 percent level of significance so i can take here the formula z is equal to whenever you get these type of problems like n1 n2 is there so you have to take formula p1 minus p2 upon under root of pq into 1 divided by n1 plus 1 divided by n2 okay this is the formula for z for checking the uh, significance difference over there okay now let me calculate z is equal to what is the p1 value that is 5 by 100 5 by 100 is nothing but 0 0.05 okay so 5 upon 100 is equal to 0 0.05 0 0.05 minus this one uh, sorry yes 7 by 100 is 0 0.07 upon under root of p value p value is 0 0.04 into q q value is 0 0.06 0 0.06 into 1 upon n1 n1 is 100 plus 1 upon 200 this is your z value okay now let me calculate it in the calc over here see what is the value 0 0.05 minus 0 0.07 upon under root of 0 0.04 into 0 0.06 see here i am calculating this one multiplied by bracket start 1 upon 100 okay then plus 1 divided by 200 1 divided by sorry bracket start 1 divided by 200 okay bracket close you will get the value as 3.33 minus 3.33 okay so z is equal to minus 3.33 
so you know already what is the uh, what we call the z value at 5% level of significance standard value so i can write it here for 5% level of significance significance z should be less or equal to sorry less z should be less than 1.645 okay it is the standard tabulated value now in this case we are getting z is equal to negative okay so it should not be negative so mod of z should less than sorry yes uh, it should be less than over here less than 1.645 okay so here as we are getting negative value so its mod should be less than 1.645 if i take the mod of z now so z is equal to 3.33 so let me take it over here in the next page okay so mod of z so mod of z is nothing but mod of minus 3.33 should be less than 1.645 so you know already what are the value is in inside the mod you will get always positive value so 3.33 is greater than it is not less than so 3.33 is greater than 1.645 therefore i can con write conclusion therefore we conclude our hypothesis hypothesis is rejected okay this is all about this particular question. I hope this is clear to you people. Thank you for watching my video.